Today is a very exciting day because one of my best friends is getting married and I thought I would share my getting ready with you all. It's been a long time coming and I can't wait to watch her get married and it's actually the first of my group of friends to be getting married. It's my friend Amber that's getting married and when you're watching this she'll obviously be a wife now <laughs> um, and she's always been a big supporter of my YouTube so I thought I would do a get ready with me for her special day. So let's get started with makeup. I'm going to start by adding some Dewy Mist. This is from YSL. It's their new Dew Mist hydrating mist. And then I'm going to add a little bit of the YSL new blotting lotion. And I really like this because it's almost like a moisturizer but it sort of mattifies the skin. So I'm putting it in on my forehead because I find I get super shiny forehead that is like a bit of a disco ball throughout the day. But I don't want to dry it out at the same time. It's very annoying. It's shiny but dry. It's impossible. And then I'm going to add a little bit of the Glow In Balm from YSL as well. These are all new products and they are so lovely. I'm just going to add those on my cheeks. Glow in balm because I don't want to be too glowy throughout the day. For foundation, I'm going to use the Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin Foundation. I'm in the shade one, and and I've just got one pump of that on my face. I'm going to move it around, buff that in. Then go to add the Rose Ink Concealer underneath my eyes and down the centre of my face. And this is really nice and high coverage, so should last all day. And then I'm going to finish off blending it in with my Real Techniques sponge. Just to really press that product into my skin. I'm going to add some Hollywood Filter Contour Wand. Buff that in with my foundation brush. And I'm going to use some powder bronzer. This is a Gucci powder bronzer and I'm just going to really bronze up my skin because I want to look nice and sun-kissed today. And I'm going to carry that on down my neck and onto my chest. I'm going to use a powder blush today. This one is Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk. And then on the same brush I'm going to use Pillow Talk Multi Glow. I'm going to add a little bit of powder just across my forehead and under my eyes. That's my base makeup done and now I'm going to fill in my eyebrows with the Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil. So I'm just going to start by brushing the brows down. I don't want a super crazy eyebrow today so I'm going to try and keep it nice and subtle and natural and then I'm using the trusty Refi brow gel to set them into place I'm just going to go in with a little bit of concealer above my eyebrows and then before I get started on eyeshadow I'm also going to put some on my eyelid as a base. Then taking a nice big fluffy eyeshadow brush I'm going to use the same bronzer I used on my face and I'm just going to do a little bit of a cut crease with the bronzer. I'm also going to put it on my lower lash line with this nice little brush. I'm then going to take this gorgeous light pink sparkly shade in the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk palette and I'm just going to add that across my eyelid. I'm then going to finish off with this dark brown and add a little subtle winged liner. This has been my go-to mascara recently and it's the Bare Minerals Lash Topia. Just makes your lashes really nice and fluffy. 
Finally for lips, I'm going to line them with my Charlotte Tilbury Lip Liner and Pillow Talk. And then I'm going to use a Generation G lipstick from Glossier in the shade Cake. There we go. I love how this makeup has turned out. It should last all day, hopefully. <laughs> Moving on to hair, I'm going to do an updo. And I think I'm probably going to do like a double bun situation. Something that's just going to sort of stay all day. I did curl my hair with the air wrap last night. Um, but I don't like my hair down at the moment. It's really annoying me. <laughs> so I'm just going to brush through it all. And then I'm going to add a load of back combing using this Kent brush. And I really love this brush. It's so nice and grippy on the hair. So I'm just going to gently start adding some back combing and adding some hairspray to it. And there we go. It's done. <laughs> but that will give us a good structure to build the updo on. I'm going to add some of this Living Proof Perfect Hair Day 5-in-1 Styling Treatment. I've been using this a lot recently. I add about this much and I just use it to sort of tame and smooth down my hair. I might actually have it as a ponytail. I feel like it might be quite cute. It's like a really high ponytail. No longer going for the high ponytail, I know what I'm going to do now. <laughs> so there we have my finished wedding guest hair and makeup. What do you guys think? I'm going to go and pop my dress on and then I'll show you what I'm wearing and how the whole look comes together. Outfit wise I have two options. This is the first one. It's a dress I made. It's got very sort of vintage vibes to it and this is the bag I'm going to be wearing from Mango. Let me show you the shoes because this wedding was an excuse to buy some of my favourite shoes that I've wanted for so long. Look at my shoes! Oh my goodness, I'm so obsessed. Love them, they're so comfortable. I can't believe how comfy they are. Try and give you a better view of the outfit and then let me pop the other dress on now and you can see what you think. And then this is the second option, it's an old dress from Ghost and it's such an easy dress to wear. It's a little bit longer and sort of figure hugging and it's got this really cute little ruffle around the neckline. Um, so yeah, I don't know which one to wear because <laughs> this one will keep me a little bit warmer and it won't crease as much when I sit down for ages in the car. Let me know in the comments down below which one I should go for and then I'm sure you'll find out on my Instagram which one I eventually wore. <laughs> I'm going to try and add some little clips of the wedding in afterwards but apart from that I really hope you guys have enjoyed this video and I will see you all in my next one. Bye!